I think the main ideas of this course is that we empower our delegates that monitoring and mapping are not only intraoperative techniques or tools, but actually it's an attitude that starts before surgery, continues during the surgery, and even goes beyond that after surgery. So we want to deliver to our delegates an integrated approach of both techniques, monitoring and mapping. It would be very difficult for me, to be honest. I think our generation of neurosurgeons, we um, were taught and we were trained, empowered by these techniques. These techniques allow us to have safer resections, allow us to interrogate the brain to a larger extent, so we can extend the resections in more eloquent areas. And these are changing um, the, the lives and the outcomes of our patients. That's a tricky question. I think that we need to learn how to interrogate the brain in different ways. At the moment, we have quite established techniques for both awake and asleep mapping and monitoring, but we need to have the understanding that a single technique will not fit every single patient. And despite if we are more keen to perform awake resections in oncology, for example, which is my field of expertise, or asleep resections, we need to understand that a single patient may require a very personalized approach. And I think that personalized preoperative and intraoperative mapping is the way forward.